Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to create the following navigation bar in Adobe Photoshop CS6. I'll also be teaching you guys how to export this navigation bar into Dreamweaver. So let's start off the tutorial by opening up a brand new document in Photoshop. We'll name it navigation bar. Now for the canvas size, we'll have the width set as 800 pixels and the height set as 40 pixels. Now, in order to create our navigation bar, we'll have to create individual buttons or links that will compose of our navigation bar. Uh, for this tutorial, I've already decided to use four uh, buttons, but you can choose however many buttons you want for your navigation bar. So let's start off the tutorial by going over to our tools panel and selecting the rectangle tool. We'll go over to a color picker. And I've already made the decision to pre-select a color, which is 25, 25, 25. We'll just create a rectangle as shown. Once we've done that, we'll go over to our dimensions up the top, we'll change the width to 800 pixels and we'll change the height to 40 pixels to match the dimensions of our canvas page. Once we've done that, we'll just simply move the rectangle onto our canvas page as shown. We will now create a new layer. In that new layer, we'll select the rectangular marquee tool. We'll go to our color picker. And for our color, I'll select 363636. Now with the marquee tool, I'll select half of the rectangle. And then I'll select the paint bucket tool and I'll just fill in that selected area. Now we have a navigation bar to, with two shades of grey. Uh, basically it gives it that sort of professional look. Now that we've done that, I'll go over to my text tool, then to my color picker and pick white. Now I'm going to create the links of our buttons. I'll type in home, services, clients, and contact us. Um, you won't worry about we won't worry about uh, aligning these texts um, at the moment. We'll worry about that later on. But now what we are going to want to do is we are going to want to create another layer. And in that layer, we want to select the, again, we want to select the rectangular marquee tool. And up the top where it says style, we want to select fixed size. In the width section, we want to change that to 200 pixels because since the canvas size is 800 pixels and we have four buttons, it's a simple case of dividing 800 by four and that's how we get 200. We'll keep the height at 40 pixels. Now that you've done that, we'll click on the left upper hand side of our navigation bar and you'll notice that it will automatically select this area which is 200 pixels by 40 pixels high. Once you've done that, click on your paint bucket fill tool and fill that area in white. Once that's done, go over to your right hand side um, of your panel and change the opacity to 20%. Basically, 
This will be our rollover button for our navigation bar. We can also rename this layer as home over. Now once you've done that, you are going to want to copy or duplicate this layer. So right click on that layer and go to duplicate layer. We'll rename this layer as services over. Then once that's done, we'll go to our selection tool. I'll hold down the shift key and drag that copied um, that copied services over button over to services as shown. I'll do the same with clients over. So I'll duplicate this layer and type in clients over. I will then again hold down the shift key and drag that button over as shown. So basically now we're just creating the rollover buttons for our navigation bar. So basically once we roll over one of these links, it'll change color to this lightish gray. One last time, we'll right click on clients, duplicate layer. We'll type in contact us over. Again, I'll hold down shift. and I'll bring the button over to contact us. Once we have finished creating the rollover buttons for our navigation bar, what we can do now is we can go ahead and center align the text uh, so it can be spaced evenly within the navigation bar. One way we can do this is by clicking on the home text layer, holding down the control key, then clicking on home over, then center aligning that text like so. We'll do the same with services. Press and hold down the control key, then click on services over and center align that like so. Again, for the clients, I'll press and hold down control, then click on clients over, center align that text, and one last time with contact us. Press and hold down control, Go over to contact us over, and as you can see, that'll space out our text to match the size of our buttons. Now that you've finished center aligning your text within the navigation bar, what we can do now is we can set up our images to be uh, sliced, and one way we can do that is by hiding one of our overlayers, like so. We'll then go over to our tools panel and select the slicing tool and we'll just select the area that is to be sliced like so. We'll repeat that process three times with our other over layers so just hiding that layer and selecting the area that's to be sliced like so. Now your end product you'll have four sliced images and what we do now is go to file we'll go to save for web and we'll save this as a JPEG we'll have the compression quality as high and we'll set the quality to 60 like so and then once that's done we will do the same, we will save the uh, rollover images, so we'll go to file, go to save, sorry, go to file, save for web, and we'll just save that, like so. And that's how you create a simple navigation bar in Adobe Photoshop CS6. If you want to know how you can export this navigation bar into Dreamweaver, please click the link in the description box below. Please like the video, um, please subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.